In this video I will demonstrate the RGB split tone detail that I've created for DaVinci. This tool provides a film-like tonality for both highlights and shadows. The RGB split tone high-low targets the shoulder and toe regions. Additionally, the high-mid-low version offers control over the mid-tones, including a pivot feature for adjusting the mid-gray area. Both versions feature a built-in slope function that allows for precise adjustments to the curve steepness, simplifying the emulation of classic film characteristics. So why do we want to split the RGB values in highlights and shadows? Film stock typically has a characteristic response to light and color that differs from digital sensors. One aspect of this is the way film handles the roll-off in shadows and highlights. In film, Highlights are often softer and shadows may have a slight lift, with midtones remaining more consistent. This creates a more organic and less harsh transition between different tonal ranges. Let's take for example the Kodak 2383 LUT and place it onto a grayscale image. We can observe warmer reds followed by green and then blue in the highlights. And in the shadow area we can observe lifted blues as well. It is not only a characteristic of print film, but when we take a closer look at negative film profiles, like this one from the Filmbox plugin, we can also see some split tone characteristics. Let's look at some film scenes. Here's the scene from the movie Tenet, where we can observe a warmer tone in the highlights. And here's a scene from the movie Silence, where we can see slightly lifted greens and blues in the shadows. So, what are the options in DaVinci to create a split tone effect? First, I want to take a look at the native tools we have in DaVinci to adjust shadows and highlights. The lock wheels are designed to provide a quick, intuitive control over a specific tonal range without requiring you to manually shape the curve. While you can adjust the range over which the lock wheels apply their adjustments, you can't directly control the shape or slope of the curves they use. Another option is to work with curves, but this can get quickly complicated. So first we can click on the red button here, then we can adjust the spline, then we have to create a point to make a curve. Now we don't want the slope here, so we can create a second point, then we can press Alt to fix it on the diagonal. But you can see that we still have the slope here, so we can adjust it. But when we adjust this point here, we are also changing the midpoint area here. So this is a bit annoying and we don't really have a reference for this point, so no values. And it can be even more trickier if we want to adjust um, just a small step here. And when we adjust multiple splines, it can also happen that when we want to adjust the green spline here, that we grab the red instead. So for me, this is not really user-friendly. We can also switch to editable splines. But now we have more points to adjust. And this can be really time-consuming. So that is why I don't like to use the curves. So with the detail it's much easier. We have three sliders to adjust the green, red and blue channel in the highlights and the RGB channel in the shadow area, along with additional sliders to adjust the slope. Depending on how much you adjust the sliders, the midtone range will stay intact. The slope function allows users to precisely control the shape of the curve, affecting how quickly the highlights and shadows roll off into the midtones. When aiming for a film-like look, 
it's generally better to minimally manipulate the mid-gray range, focusing instead on how the highlights and shadows transition into these mid-tones. In addition to the standard tools, I've added the RGB split high-mid-low DTL for enhanced control over the mid-tones. This DTL features mid-sliders for precise RGB splitting near the mid-tones. The pivot is key for aligning the split-tone effect with the mid-gray area, which varies based on the camera used. For more details, please visit my website. There you will also find a free demo version. The demo version comes with a watermark, but it is fully functional. If you have further questions, leave a comment. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you next time.